Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing makeup after a long while because my skin, if you watched my last video, was not doing so well. It's finally starting to get better and I really am itching to get some makeup on my face. I have not done makeup in what feels like over a month. So I actually would like to do like the clean girl look that's popular these days it's basically just really fresh dewy skin and really minimal makeup uh, and it's focused around enhancing your features so your brows your eyes your lips cream products are really big these days so using a lot of creams to create dimension like contour blush etc so just that sort of a look so that's what we'll be doing today um, I'm just gonna quickly do my brows off camera because I d it's just the same thing that I do every time so there's nothing new in the process really so I'll just do that and then quickly hop back on here so brows are on now I just have some cream concealer here that's a little darker for me and it's got like a bit of an orange tone to it and I'm gonna use it to color correct I will start by placing this here I love how like seamlessly it just blends into the skin this is a Cryolan Derma color thingy in one of the videos that i posted late last year or the beginning of this year i cannot remember like i can't put my finger on the month that i posted that video in but i was talking about how color correctors do not need to be that pigmented um, in order to be able to work like orange correctors are so orange that it's hard to like control how much product you're placing because there's just too much pigment and you do not need it so i still have a bit of the corrector product here uh, and i'm not gonna take it away just yet i'm gonna keep this on here while i apply my foundation so if i happen to pick up any corrector underneath um, while applying my foundation I will just take some more and work from the back of my hand still and for foundation I'm using the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation uh, my shade is natural N052 but it doesn't match me it's a little bit lighter uh, than I would like for my skin so I just mix in something to make sure that it matches so I'm just gonna place this here around my nose I am using the Bond This Way uh, from Too Faced, the Bond This Way concealer. The shade is called Natural Beige. So if you watched my videos in the past six months, um, I've talked a lot about how I like to place my concealer and then let it sit. It just ups your coverage and I find personally that the concealer sits beautifully underneath. I still have a bit of concealer left but again I really like to have the product if there is any left. I'll keep the product whatever is left till the end of my makeup application. Um, that way if I need more at the end I do not have to take out more. I'm using the Sugar Too Good To Be True cream eyeshadows. 
This is the shade Chips and Salsa. I love the name. I'm just using a synthetic brush to blend this out. So the look that I'm going for today is just a wash of color, which this is. And then I have another shade from this range, which is a bit darker than this which I'm gonna use to do like a half winged liner situation which I will obviously smoke out now I'll use the darker one and because I want to do a liner I'll just take the product here um, I don't want to put it on my eye with the applicator because the applicator is really thick and I will not get the precise initial line that I really want um, I want to place the product really carefully, let it sit for a minute and then smoke it out, just the edges. I don't want to blend it out into oblivion, which I'm capable of doing that. I have done that before. I really want to be mindful of how much I put on. This is the Spectrum KGH number 23 brush. It's an angled brush with a spoolie on the other end. This bit is very soft and very like bendy. I try to use it for brows but I have really thick coarse dark hair and this just bends too much like it did not place enough product for me so I figured this kind of a brush would be best suited for what I'm using it for now so I'll just pick up the product on the very tip of the brush hold the mirror close look down into the mirror I'll leave it at this much right now um, because I know once I start blending this out it's gonna move around a bit so let's just leave it at that I'll take a pause here on the eyes um, and just blend out my concealer I'm using an eyeshadow blending brush and I'm gonna pick up some of that product that I had at the back of my hand all right that blended seamlessly you see what i mean about the coverage i mean this concealer definitely has amazing coverage but doing this really really makes a difference time to buff this out i'm using a synthetic flat shader brush but it's a little fluffier than most shader brushes like it's not completely flat going in like this over the edges to buff this out and that's all I was going for so you can see the wing you can see some definition on the outer corner but you cannot see a definite line and that's what we like My lips are starting to really dry out so before I do anything else I really just want to do my lips first I'm gonna start with putting a primer on this is the Mac prep and prime lip it feels like a chapstick going on but what it really does so uh, how you're supposed to apply it first of all you just put it all over your lips and a little bit outside um, where you might put your lip liners and stuff so like how you would put on lip balm before you put on lipstick to make sure that your lips are soft um, and hydrated enough to wear a lipstick all day i would take the lip balm off before applying the lipstick but i feel like if you at any point forgot to put on your lip balm and your lips are a little uh, dry or you feel like like a matte lipstick is gonna look really cr crusty on your lips this is a great product because it makes sure that your lips kind of stay hydrated the function of this product is not that of a lip balm but it does provide some relief to any dryness that you might be facing and also what i find is because it's supposed to be a primer it really smoothens out the surface of your lips so when you go in with your lip 
products like a lip liner they just glide on without any tugging and they last for really long i'm just gonna start with the lip liner this is the chambord velvet touch lip liner pencil in br03 you see how easily the color starts to glide So I would not put this product on if I was just wearing a lip liner and then filling in my lips with an actual lipstick. I really wanted to use another lip liner to fill in my lips today and that can get really drying if I don't use a product like that before, which is why I've used it today. Um I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Totally Toffee to fill in my lips now. And the best part about it If after putting your lipstick on you feel like your lips are still dry you can put it all over your lipstick and it's not going to ruin anything. So we are done with complexion, eyes and lips. Um I really want to do some contour. I'm going to use my Morphe contour stick. I'm picking the product up on that brush again, the one I did my foundation with and placing that's too much i'm using my vega contour brush to blend this out such a long hiatus my hand is a mess i'll clean that up later right now all i want to do is knock back some of this shine um it's a little too much right now and also put on some mascara because this is not a good look on me before i do that i'm just going to take my extra concealer removing brush and take some of that product off that's starting to crease under my eyes and that's it so for my powder and my mascara today i have a new brand to talk to you about kiro beauty it's a new brand for me as well and this is the first time i'm working with a makeup brand so this is very exciting for me so i'll tell you a little bit about the brand and then i'll show you the products that i'm going to use now it's a new indian beauty brand that focuses on um having good clean naturally sourced uh, ingredients and use those ingredients to make products that are good for you and look good on you the brand doesn't use any nasty ingredients in their formulations and their products are infused with vitamins butters and natural oils instead so the products that i am going to be using today and talking to you about are this is the botanico timeless matte compact uh this is what the packaging looks like first of all i love how this looks i love the colors and it feels very luxurious it looks luxurious i'm in love with the packaging um let's just open the compact first 
so this is what the compact comes in and this is what the actual component looks like this is the product and underneath there is a powder puff as well so this compact is actually like a powder foundation almost because uh, it does have coverage so you can build it up um, I already have makeup on uh, so I'm gonna be using it to set my uh, cream products and I'll also unbox the mascara first uh, before I start applying these products on my skin. Um, this is the Botanico Super Shield Mascara. The shade I have is called Carbon Black. Ooh, I love this packaging. Considering just the packaging, I'd say they're pretty luxurious. They feel weighty, they do not feel cheap. And I'm loving this, I'm very excited to try them on. So let's just get into this. So while I'm applying this, I'll tell you more about the product. I'm just using the shade 04 Nutmeg Beige. It comes with a mirror as well. I have some information written down here just to make sure that I don't miss anything, uh, which includes all the ingredients that it has. So this is the Timeless Matte Compact, which is India's first 100% naturally derived uh, compact like makeup. This has got maracuja oil, goji oil extract. So all of these are gonna give your skin a lot of antioxidants, which are very, very good for you and actually very important for your skin. And it's got grapefruit extract and sunflower seed oil. It's supposed to have an airbrush matte finish. It's supposed to be an ultra fine powder. Oh my God. It erased my texture wait a second are you seeing this i really hope it comes across exactly like that on camera i'm gonna put some under my eyes as well it's letting my natural dewiness still shine through while making my texture less obvious. How does that happen? I do not know, do not ask me. So I agree with the ultra fine powder and the velvet finish part of it. Definitely agree. It feels amazing on the skin feels very lightweight. I do not feel like I put on too much while I did go in with my brush here. Picked up some more and I'm gonna go around my nose because I get a lot of shine in those areas. Are you seeing this? It's erasing my pores. All right. Um, it's got buildable coverage, which I also agree with. I tend to put less product in this general bit of my face and it's making my skin look even in those areas and I am definitely enjoying that. And it's also supposed to be oil controlling. I'm honestly telling you, I have a tower of powders right where my makeup sits. I can see five, six different powders that I use interchangeably. None of them make it look like this. So that's saying something. And of course, there's more claims like blurring. I agree with that. Pore minimizing, I agree with that. Um, longevity, if it stays this way, I'm definitely sure it can last you quite a bit of time. Um, and now with summer's approaching, I think this will be the best time to test these products out more. But if upon application, I am this impressed, I'm sure it's going to hold up well as well. And of course, all their products are dermatologically tested as well. And I love the fact that you can actually carry these in your bag with you because they have a puff. So you can just use these to touch up. These are gonna live in my bag from now on. I am pretty sure of that. This compact, you can get it in six shades, I think, as of now. And it retails for 1200 rupees, 
which is a really good price considering this is not just a compact it's a powder foundation kind of a product like it does build coverage i definitely see that on my face right now now i'll just use the mascara this is what the mascara looks like and i'll just read the general ingredients that it has while applying it so some mascaras can definitely lead to lash breakage especially when like removing it and stuff because some can tend to be very uh just harsh on your lashes this is the kiro botanico super shield mascara this is what the wand looks like i love these kinds of wands they always make your lashes look really long and just voluminous this mascara has gradient called pca glyceryl oleate i think which helps in lash strengthening it's got cherry seed oil avocado oil and sunflower seed oil so all of these oils are going to help your lashes become stronger become less prone to breakage and help them grow longer as well and it's got calendula oil as well which helps in lash growth it's making my lashes look thicker at the root and really fanning them out at the tips which is exactly the kind of stuff i like with mascaras make my lashes look thicker and separated and i'm sold and that's exactly what this is doing right now for me i am building this up and building this up and building this up and it refuses to clump which is amazing because not a lot of mascaras do that especially wands like these like if you use them a certain way they can definitely clump up but this just refuses to do so quickly going to take this on my lower lashes as well genuinely feel speechless both of these products have performed better than i expected them to i'm being completely honest here i did not expect them to perform this well the compact has made my skin look velvety it's given a little bit more coverage it's made my skin look very just poreless and kind of matte in areas that i wanted to look but not flat and we come to the mascara it's looking natural enough where I don't feel like I have spidery lashes but it's so volumizing. I was having the shittiest lashes also apart from having like bad skin um ever since February hit. My skin was really bad. It started to get better but then I think the allergy reached my eyelid area as well and my lashes were falling out. If my lashes can look like this at a really bad stage with this mascara I wonder what it will do when I actually have good lashes which I think this will help in because it's got so many oils that actually nourish your lashes and make them grow longer and stronger and prevent breakage and prevents them from falling out like I'm really excited about these products and I'm really really excited to have Kiro sponsor this bit of the video because they were a newer brand to me as well but I genuinely am not lying when I say these products have really won my heart because I did not expect them to perform this well in the first try. So it's got 99% naturally derived ingredients, lash lengthening, curling and volumizing. You can see there's proof right here. It promotes lash strengthening because of all of the oils that I mentioned. It's got an intense black color which I agree with. It's non flaky as well which I also agree with because even though I haven't worn it long enough to tell you if it's flaky or not, I can tell kind of by the formula. Formulas that are kind of on the runny side uh tend to flake on me this is quite dry i think which is why it's also not clumpy which sounds kind of counterproductive because when your mascara st start turning like drier they might feel like they're going to clump more but they actually don't this is exactly the kind of a formula that i like as well it's not runny it's very waxy instead which actually makes sure that the product like sticks together with your lashes and doesn't really move around i love that Uh this is a waterproof uh formula 
which also is gonna make sure that it's really long lasting on you and it's not gonna flake or smudge or anything like that and of course it's an eye product so it's ophthalmologically tested I forgot to mention the mascara retails for 950 rupees uh, and the compact is for 1200 I think I mentioned that already I'm really happy that I chose to work with Kiro because if this is what their products are like I am in for a treat so if you are interested in buying these products I will have links to both of them in my description box and some other links as well and some info about the brand if you want uh, you can check them out and I'm not sure if I've missed uh, pointing out any information but if I have I will definitely make sure to include everything in the description so please 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 check the description out before you x out of this video that is it for me thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye